Hello everyone, this is Sam from the Tech Studios. In this video, I want to show you how to create this motion graphic without any plugins or particle system or any complicated process, just with few simple modifiers in 3D Studio Max. So let's start. So in 3D Studio Max, I create a plane and because I want to make it hexagon, increase the length segment twice the width, collapse it to editable poly, press Ctrl M for a couple of times to increase subdivisions, don't add too much. Now select edge and select one of these edges. In the ribbon from modeling, polygon modeling, select generate topology and select hive. Now I collapse it to edit poly again to make sure all changes confirmed. As you know, all these faces attached together to break them all. In the selection rollout, I select vertex, press Ctrl A to select all vertices and select break. Now we have separated geometry surface. All right, now I apply edit poly modifier and also we need volume select based on vertex and of course we need some geometry for define that and in the selection method if it's set replace or add but we don't need to change and in the volume select mesh object and select this mesh object in soft selection enable soft selection and set your desirable value all right we cannot apply some modifiers like edit poly or edit mesh directly with value of volume select. So we need to use Morpher. So I add Morpher modifier. All right, I go to edit poly, polygon, select all by control A and something like outline. Hold on the Alt key to decrease the value. OK. Go to Morpher. And select Capture Current State. 0, 1 state. OK. Go to Edit Poly again. And set Correct Value. OK. Morpher. Slot 2 and capture state 0, 2. All right. Now, if I go for example, first state and add the value to 100%, as you see, now start shrinkage and it is something opposite of my demo. Maybe you like that, but if you don't, select volume and invert. Now we could do that exactly opposite. If you see, still our small geometries left here. To remove them, you could add delete mesh. So let me add that. Now, as you see, we deleted any geometry out of our volume selected area. Now, if I start to moving that, as you see, this is work interactively. If you like, you could add some other modifiers like shell. I set point zero three maybe. And also I added a ripple to my demo version. So start to adding amplitude and decrease the wavelength I think we should move our ripple before shell to achieve better results alright also if you need animation 
You could select your plane geometry, select ripple, and I enable auto key animation. Go to the final frame and increase phase. For example, something like seven or eight. Now, if I start to move my sphere, now we have something like that. Also, I could enable animation recording. So enable auto key and set key. For example, go to frame 10. I'm moving here. Set key. I'm going here. Frame, sorry, undo. First go to frame 20 and move here. Set key. Frame 30. I will scale it. All right. The reason why I'm select set key because I have more transformation than scale. For example, if in frame 40, I start to rotate, rotation will start from frame 20, not from 30. So make sure after your transforming changes, select set keys. Number 40, I start to rotating. Any angle you like. All right. Because these modifiers using old system codings and sadly even using usually single core, they are not so optimized. And as you see, you will face with some issues, bugs like that. And you could move, for example, manually up and restore, but it is so buggy and won't work properly anywhere. As I mentioned before, now my application gave a roar. Sorry, my 3D Max crashed because as I mentioned before, these modifiers code is very old and usually they don't support multi-core and they are not optimized. So I removed these noise modifier. To avoid some issues on display and even on render, I personally prefer to select Morpher. And applying noise modifier without any set value to a strength or seat or so just go to first frame enable auto key i set the phase to zero and frequency change something with animate noise go to last frame and you could set 100 or even more doesn't matter doesn't matter because we just trying to fix that bug and display calculation. Now you could simply render these results. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.